dime dropper fam absolutely atrocious news to report and that is that i'm the latest i've ever been to a game maybe ever in my life seven o'clock start tonight i hate the seven o'clock starts i fucking hate them because it doesn't give it doesn't actually prioritize the actual locals going to the game they want they can't have these east coast pansies stay up for 34 fucking minutes 30 more fucking minutes tonight we got philly in town only one of two teams that i haven't seen in my life the philadelphia 76ers and the milwaukee bucks i've never seen joel Embiid play obviously this means tobias harris is back gwen rivers is back and also montrez yes i called him montrez and not montrader i made a long thread today about why i've forgiven montrez still getting weird calling him that again but i do regret I do feel bad. Time has passed. He's only averaging like seven points a game. He may never experience the success that he faced, that he had with the Clippers ever again. So I kind of do feel bad for him. And at the end of the day, he did win a sixth man of the year for us. Helped us have an amazing 2018-19 season. And it's in the history books forever. And he probably won't have a better tenure anywhere else than with the Clippers. So got to be appreciative of that. And at the end of the day, as a fan, all I want is for players to have their best years with the Clippers and that'll probably be true for him as well but anyway we're late first quarter started or ended already first quarter fucking ended already Paul George is back though which is awesome still no as far as I know Luke Kennard or John Wall Marcus Morris is back but the fact that Paul is back is so great let's get into the arena cue the music Jackson on the drive kicks it out for man man three-pointer Magic down the middle, just what I thought. A hook shot at 12. Good! Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win it! They win it! Now that's a steal by Murray. Underneath the DJ. Going up on the bell. Ball away. Yes! He does it at the buzzer. He does it. Was there ever a doubt? Yeah. A Smith screen. Oji will defend. Oh! Physical game. Oh, man. Oh, man. A monster jam by Blake Griffin. We in the building, section 208. <laughs> Empty row. Make sure you keep this one as we enter into half the down 10 right now. Classic first halves we've been having recently. Not starting games the right way, at least in the second quarter. 20 points for Embiid. Clippers have been playing a zone with Zoo not even down low on the wing. And it's not working. Not working at all. Second of the quarter. Oh, come on. Where's the defense? Guys got lucky. We'll take it. We'll take it. Attacking, Paul. Yup. Yes. Oh, come on, guys. These turnovers are killer. Fouls. Oh, that's so ticky tack. Boo! That is so ticky tack. Boo! Another one? Another one? No 
away. Another poor second quarter. Making a run of it. Paul George and Kawhi leading the way. Marcus Morris Sr. And we're tied. Kawhi got 21. Oh my god, Tobias cannot miss. He's got 19. And B's got 31. All 11, 7, and 4 in his return. Zone from Philly. Shot. I gotta move the ball more. Defense! Classic. Classic plumber. Classic plumber. Zone again, like a 3 2. That was like a 2 3. They're not moving the ball fast enough with his zone. Playing one-on-one -on -one basketball on his own. Defense! Ooh, that was cheesy. Postman, no nothing. can't guard you. They cannot guard him. 23 for Kawhi. Defense! 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 Oh my god. Oh, rebound. You got a rebound. You got a rebound. It's us. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Two for one? No, no two for one. I went for it. Oh. Didn't need to go for the two for one. You're not going to get it.
defense. Good D Nico. Good D Nico. What? He made it to him. Oh, thank God. Maxie starting out cooking us in this fourth quarter. Defense! Defense! You gotta give something up with that pick and roll. They've shot 13 for 27 from deep. They switched. Zugard. All right, my man, Adrian, Clippers collapse in the fourth quarter. What are you thinking? It was ridiculous, man. Like, we couldn't we couldn't stop uh, Tyrese Maxey at the start of the quarter. Yeah. And then I think that Moses Brown definitely, like, his shift in the fourth was kind of rough. But, you know, we'll see how they come out tomorrow. So, yeah, what's it, the, it was rough. What's the problem with this team, man? I don't even know what to say. Kawhi had a good game. Terrence had a good game. But we just struggle I, to be good teams. I, sometimes I just feel like like the, the passion is not there. You can really tell when, especially, like, for example, Paul George. The, the passes he was making in the fourth, like, what is that, man? And we've like, seen that a bunch of times from him. Time. And he does it at least, like, twice a game. But, you know, that's, that's what I have to say about you, that. You think any chance we should switch up the second half rotation and have Kawhi play the whole fourth quarter instead of Paul? I think, yeah, I think that's, that's a good point. I think that's a good idea. And at this point, anything is worth trying because it's been rough. Any chance we still win this championship, man? You think we can turn oh, this around? I don't know. I've never seen a fourth seed. Like, if we make it to the fourth seed, at least I've never seen a fourth seed team make it that deep, you know, at least yeah. recently. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Post game, man, I got nothing to say about the first quarter because we came late. So I have nothing to say. Second quarter, more zone being played on both sides than in most NBA games. And man, the Clippers were doing a great job of showing kids how to not break zones. Isolation, nobody in the high post, disgraceful. And then also, I don't get why we're playing a zone, but we don't have Zubats in the middle. I'm really curious to hear what Ty Lue's rationale for that was, to have Zubats playing on the wing of a zone. Um, I thought Kawhi looked good, though. Um, Paul, you know, he, he was decent, could be better, but... Third quarter, we were actually great. Even though we still had bad moments breaking through a zone, we were great. Got back in the game. And I said, you know, the best player in the fourth quarter is going to dictate a lot. And the best player in the fourth quarter was not Harden, was not Embiid, was not Kawhi, and was not Paul George. It was Tyrese freaking Maxey. And he outplayed Norman Powell. He outplayed all our bench players. George Niang made some threes. And you got to give the credit to the Sixers. I think they played good defense. And that Embiid, Harden, pick and roll is a nightmare to guard. But... Why is Robert Covington not playing at all in the second half after the way he's been playing recently? Why are we going with Moses against Montre Montrez? We can actually go small with, with that. I don't understand some of the decisions made. Now the Eagles fans are getting lit, huh? I don't understand the decisions being made at times, but I also think that the Clippers need to change up the fourth quarter, uh, second half rotation in terms of Kawhi and Paul. I want Kawhi playing the whole fourth quarter because it's too many games we talk about that Kawhi doesn't do anything in the fourth because he's coming in at like the six, seven minute mark. Tonight he came in at the eight minute mark and it really didn't make a difference. We had lost the momentum. I also want to say I don't complain about officials much, but the refs were egregious tonight. Actually insane. Not the reason we lost, but they made it very hard to get momentum. But Embiid, he was the best player on the court. Got to hand it to him. But Paul George... Like, I'm tired of the carelessness with the ball. And he, if he's playing the whole fourth quarter instead of Kawhi, we're going to continue to dig ourselves into holes. Kawhi needs to play the whole fourth. Paul sit um, the beginning of the fourth. But anyway, I really don't know, guys. Subscribe and like.